thank you very much for coming back again today. I really appreciate it. So we're going to do a brief examination, looking at your hands, and I'm going to comment, so uh, hopefully I won't say anything untoward, if that's okay. And then afterwards we might look at you walking. Is that okay? Um, when, was, uh, when was the first time you noticed a problem with your hands? Well, it's about six years ago. I don't know about a day, that was six years ago. Six years ago? Six, five or six years ago. And is there any history in the family of any illness? Does anybody else have it? You see, I don't know if I'm a, a doctor. You're a doctor, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so is, is your symptoms, what are they? Well, this, this, this year I'm having a half bad and I've no, when I had that, no, no, I mean. Is it weakness in the grip, is it? No grip at all. No. Is it worse than the hot weather or the cold weather? The cold weather, I have pains in the thing. You actually get pain? In the joint. Yeah, you know. and you're falling because, what's wrong with the feet? Just a drop, a drop foot. You have a drop foot, okay. So if you look straight ahead of me here, okay, I'm just going to ask you to do a few things. So I make a few observations, and you can see that um, there's bilateral mild ptosis at rest, and there's bilateral lower facial, lower facial weakness, uh, which we can accentuate by doing the following. So, Michael, if you could raise up your eyebrows surprised, frown down as if angry. Okay, squeeze your eyes tightly shut, really tightly, really tightly. Don't let me open them. Don't let me. Okay, that's fine. Show me your teeth and blow out your cheeks, please. Great. Can you put your chin onto your chest? I'm going to put my hand on your forehead. Push against my hand. Don't let me hurt you. Push hard. You okay? Yeah. Didn't hurt you? No. And the sternomastoids are often weak too. So if you look over to your left, so you're looking at um, sternocleidomastoids, push hard against me. Not too bad. And towards me now, if you don't mind. Just expose that there a little. Push hard against me. Not bad. Okay, not bad. Can you put your arms up like that? And push up against me. Don't let me hurt you. Push up hard. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. And down. Okay. Now put your hands out straight and squeeze as tightly as you can. So it's fine proximally, but weak distally. And you can see that there's a loss of muscle bulk yeah, as we come distally. You put them on your wrist rather than your grip yeah, yeah, when you're carrying something. I understand. Now, can you put your right hand out straight in front of you? Okay. Now, I want you to open your hand as widely as you can. And now close it as thickly as you can. Open, close. Open, close. Now, quick as you can, try and keep up with me. Go. Keep going. You're doing wonderfully. So this is classic myotonia where people can't open and close. And it's worse than the cold weather, isn't that right? If you turned your hand over, if, that, if you don't mind, there's no muscle wasting here, but if you turn over here, you can see some slight muscle wasting here. So you see there's some wasting of the muscles here and here, and there's weaknesses down here, and you see some wasting, but not very pronounced of the, um, on the small muscles of the back of the hand. If you turn the hands over then, with this hand, can you open and close your fist? Wide as you can, close. Open, close, open, close, open. Can you shake my hand? Squeeze tight now. Shake hard as you can. Come on. And sometimes people can't let go. Not here, though. <laughs> can you turn your hand over and put the hand out straight? I'm, I'm going to tap it here as before. Unsuccessfully. Just straighten it out a bit. Oh. Miss that. And straighten out the whole hand and keep it flat like that. That's it. Thank you. I've lost the profession. There it is. Okay, I'll try on this side. I may have. And just relax it a fraction more. Just relax the hand. That's it. Yeah, thanks. Okay, and straighten it out again. Okay. Ready? Don't hurt me. No. Okay. That's it. Okay, that's fine. So there's distal muscle weakness. There are various types of myotonic dystrophy, but this is distal muscle weakness and some with frontal balding, bilateral uh, ptosis. Do you have cataracts? No. Often people get cataracts no, with uh, right well. not quite expressionless face that you see in Parkinson's, but it's, it's often referred to as hand dog face as if uh, one is unhappy due to lower motor, uh, lower facial weakness. Weakness of the neck muscul musculature, myotonia with percussion myotonia, Sometimes you see gynecomastia and you test the sugar for, uh, test the urine, I'm sorry, for sugar for uh, diabetes. You also do an ECG looking at the intervals, uh, particularly the PR interval, 
uh, and evidence of uh, conduction block. Um, and the diagnosis is made on genetic test, which is a trinucleotide repeat disorder discussed elsewhere in this uh, demonstration. Michael, when you're ready, can you walk towards me, please? So we're looking and listening to the bilateral foot drop. And turn around, thanks, and walk away when you're ready. Slightly flex posture, and you can hear the slap of the feet on the ground on both sides. One more time now, well, come on, oh, steady. Come on back. Sometimes you can just close your eyes and listen, and you hear the foot drop. It's a classical finding, and turn around again, and all the way back. Come on back now. And I'm going to go in. Just come back halfway now, Michael. That's lovely. Are you able to walk heel to toe? I won't be able to dance, well, that's the whole point. Maybe I'll stand beside you. Sorry? Yeah, I'll stand beside you. It's important to stand beside the person, especially in your examinations. Good. That'll do fine. Perfect. Now, can you stand facing me? We'll come down here a little bit more. That's fine. And if you just stand there, now, if you hold my hand, if you don't mind, I want you to rock back up onto your toes like that. Great. OK, now stand up onto your, onto your toes. Up, hold both hands, maybe. Yeah. I've got you. Yeah, High as you can go. Yeah, yourself, no. Not too bad. Don't hurt yourself. No, that's fine. So you can see that to be honest, posterior is OK. But now, back onto your toes. Don't hurt yourself now. So you've got a little bit of a lift there, but no lift there. So <coughs> it's a bilateral foot drop. Feet tightly close together, if you will. Hands down. Close your eyes. Steady as a rock, almost. Steady, anyway. Romberg negative. That's fine, thanks. So just one more time, if you can go back onto your heels. And that's bilateral foot drop, so, and you can see that then in the gate, or even hear it in the gate. So we'll do one more time, if you don't mind. Just walk down to the pillar. Always give the patient specific instructions. And turn around when you're ready, please. OK, come on back. Perfect. Thanks again, as always. That's great.